Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. And in this video, we will add a contact us page to your website. Okay, so last week we did a video how I showed you how you could add videos to your product pages and to your website in general. This week, there's gonna be a little bit less coding and I'm just going to show you how to set up a contact page. Okay, but before we continue, if you guys are really serious about growing your Shopify store, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what are the tools you need in order to grow faster and I will be there to help you. I love my audience and I wanna grow this audience and give you as much value as I potentially can. So make sure to like and subscribe. So let's just jump straight into it right here. We have my uh, little demo store. If I click on the example here, um, you can see that there is no way to contact the store owner of this wonderful demo store. There is only two options in the menu and there is really not much I can do. And we're about to change that right now. So in order to change this, it's actually really simple. There's not even code involved this time. So I don't know why I'm wearing the green coding hoodie, but you just go to online store right here to your left. And then there is the pages tab. Make sure to click on that one. And then we're going to click on add page. It's going to ask us a title of the page and we can call it whatever we want. Let's say con, con, ta, uh, contact us. There you go. And here you can write a little bit of text if you want to give additional information. Uh, we'll get back to you in 24 hours. You get the point. I'm not gonna write it out, but you can write whatever you want right here. Now, here's the important part. Right here on a template suffix, we're going to change the template. So there is a little drop down. we click on it, and you should see that there is an option that's called page.contact or something similar to that. So there we go, we're going to select that one, and then we're going to click save. Make sure it is visible, and if you know a thing or two about SEO, you might want to uh, change that in order to include your keywords and something a little bit more nice than what's written here. But that's a bit outside of the scope of this video. Anyway, let's uh, preview it by clicking on view page right here. And you will see you have a contact form. We have the little text that we wrote that we'll display here together with our page title and our contact form. Okay, cool. But there's still no way of accessing this form from the homepage. Well, so to address this, once all of this is saved, we're going to go to navigations right here on the left. And we're going to go, for example, in the main menu, click on main menu, and we're going to add a contact as element. As you can see, it says here, home catalog, which is the same as these ones. So I'm going to add a menu item by clicking on add a menu item. They're asking for a name, so I can even change it. Chat with us because the other one was contact us and I don't want to create the impression that it needs to be the same name. And then it's going to ask us for a link. So we're just going to click on pages right here, contact us. And then we click add. So now there is a third element that was added called chat with us, save menu. Just to underline, the home and catalog may be completely different with you. We're just adding an element uh, on the menu. You might have called all of this differently. But now if we look at our online store by clicking on the little I right here, we will see we have home, catalog, and chat with us. When we click on chat with us, we're on the contact us page. Now a little additional information. If I do here tests, um, tests at aol.com, I give a phone number and there is a message. You see, as you just saw, there was no captcha, meaning there is no security. This means that if spam bots are crawling the internet, you might be able to get a whole bunch of spam emails from automatic bots that look for contact us pages, fill in their spam message and click send. There is a way around this, however. You just go back to your online store, you click on preferences, So if you want Google reCAPTCHA to be available, you have to scroll all the way down in the preferences and say, enable Google reCAPTCHA on the contact forms. I do believe that it is enabled on standard practice. So 
you know, maybe you won't have to do this extra step. By the way, if you get a lot of spam uh, orders, you can do the same thing with the checkout. Or if bots are constantly ordering your stuff because, I don't know, you're a, a shoe brand selling out limited edition sneakers, um, then this is this is the option for you. And just a final little side note, all the information that is entered here, all the emails that are being sent, um, they're actually going to go to the Shopify account, account holders. So whoever this account is assigned to, you can find that in settings, a general, and you will find the account email address right here. This is where all the contact forms emails are being forwarded to, to this account email address. So there you go, guys. It was a super straightforward video. There wasn't even any code today. Make sure to check out our other coding videos where there is actually code in the other ones. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and I will see you in another video. Ciao.